Okay, I want to talk about networking. Now, I'm not talking about selling something. I'm not telling, talking about some network scheme. This is basic networking um, for utilizing for general reasons. Um, you'll understand, just watch the video. Don't switch off because you think it's about sales. It's nothing about sales. I'll give you some examples so you get an idea what I'm talking about. Um, I was working overseas and a guy uh, working on another project I could see was starting work at about 6, 7 in the morning, 10, 10 at night. Um, he was struggling. He, he had basically been tasked with health and safety documentation. These are not only like um, little posters going up. This is the legal documentation. This is the process of X is this. The process of Y is this. Risks, risk and method statements. Um, company policies. All tied in with health and safety. The guy is a QS. He doesn't do health and safety. But what you have is directors often do what is called deflection. They are responsible for something and in their pearls of wisdom didn't realize they needed a specialist in health and safety. So they deflect it to somebody else to make it their problem. Um, that's when if something goes wrong, the director doesn't get fired. The person that was dealing with the health and safety does, even though that's not their competencies. But putting that aside, I've seen this guy's working a lot of hours and I just got it, got involved. I turned around and said, well, what are you actually doing? What do you need? Well, I've got to write this, got to do this. Our company is big enough um, to have all this stuff already. All you need to do is basically find another contract of a similar type, get their documentation, and basically just alter it. You just change the names, buildings, that sort of thing, because it's already written. But what I have, what he didn't, is a network. His network was within that country. My network is global because A, I meet a lot more people, but B, I take the time to introduce myself to them. I also am quite nosy of what they're doing, um, in and out of, out of work. For example, if I know somebody's doing a college degree or something, I'll actually go, oh, I know somebody did that. Um, they finished there six months ago might be worth getting in touch with them because they can help you do yours because they've just finished. And people remember this stuff. And in this case, the the guy um, had all this stuff to do and it, it was pages and pages of, um, people call it health and safety legislation, I call it nonsense a lot of the time because stupidity isn't, um, taking into account these days, you're supposed to make everything idiot proof, but an idiot will always prove you wrong. <laughs> They'll find a way. Um, but anyway, so I got in touch with a contact in the UK that then provided all the documents that the guy needed, which then meant he could finish that task not in months, but literally in a few days. Not only was it a case of it was finished in a few days, it was also to a standard the company had already accepted. So even though he was not a health and safety specialist, the fact is this was written by one. All he had to do is go through, read it all, because you have to read it all to make sure it's relevant to your contract. But he just went through, doctored the addresses, the uh, key, key people in the, in the document, etc. cetera, um, who's responsible for what, et cetera very quick process. That's one way of using the network. Now, the advantage and the advantages of this is the guy that I helped is now a lifelong friend um, who's now part of my, my network, my now expanding network. He also passed on similar uh, advice and recommendations to other people. Also, tapped into the fact that he's now got somebody he knows that has got access to stuff that he hasn't, but also willing to help. So you then get his network working with your network because he can now pull things through him, um, which expands his network as well. Because what happens is, oh, 
Um, such and such knows about this. When the fact is, he doesn't. He knows me. That may know it, or I, I will know somebody that knows. So it helps him. It helps me. And like now, he's now come back to the UK in a different position. But when I go back to contracting, he's in a position where he could actually pass work to me. So that network works for me. In a similar way, when I, when I first come back to the UK in 2013, I think it was. To, yeah, start of 2013. Um, somebody I had a working relationship with for the last seven plus years. Um, basically, I made him aware I was in the country and he basically applied for a job for me. Um, I basically got told that I had an interview for, like tomorrow for a job that I had to then go and research what had actually been applied for. Um, that relationship was built up over time, but it's also working a, a network in my field is important because what I do is I remember people's birthdays. I remember their Christmases, I'll call them up when I know they're on a bad contract or something and sometimes just want to let off steam and just want somebody to talk to. So I spend a bit of time with people um, that build this relationship up where a lot of people around us don't bother. Um, it puts me in a key position a lot of the time because people remember who you are. People realize that you actually care about what they're doing, how they are, what their well-being is, how their career is progressing, etc, etc. Because it's not just about um, for myself, you know, to expand out. The fact is I do take an interest in what people are actually doing. I, uh, for example, when somebody's in energy management, for, um, I'm interested in what they're working on because they've got some new technologies and stuff that I may not have come across and I'm actually interested in energy management. So we bounce conversations. And like I said, with the guy with health and safety, he was struggling with that. So I, I saw it there for him. You know, it's, it's a two way street, but it can progress your career. Now, another example of where this is quite important is this evening. Um, as you can see, it's the evening. I'm looking a bit tired. Um, we've just come back from a meeting with uh, a couple of people that have recently come to Spain. Um, I've given them a lot of advice on how to process documents, given them some examples, etc. online, um, help them get kickstarted on that. Now, when you're looking to move to a new country, having a strong network can be uh, hugely um, useful. Because the conversation tonight, I know the guy is very interested in computers. So I'm thinking, okay, well, we can work something together with us. You know, because I'm interested in computers um, and there's opportunities there that we can develop something um, together. Because obviously some of these things take a bit of investment, but also it depends how you're running it. Um, at the same time, I'm thinking, okay, I'll net him, network him and his wife up with uh, some other people I know that may be able to tap into his resources and ideas and he can tap into theirs and their network. Because if you imagine somebody's a real estate agent and you've got somebody that's good at websites, then between them, they can help market. Somebody's got the properties and somebody's good at marketing them online. Um, in the same way, the person that's a real estate agent is in touch with a lot of people. So if somebody needs computer services at a reasonable rate, they know who to direct them to. And this is working a network outside of work. Because although that is work, this is actually like for settling in another country, because most of the people in my network at the moment um, in Spain are from the UK. Um, in some form. There, there's people that have been here over a decade. There's people that have arrived today. You know, the fact is you work the network. Um, but I've also got people from Ukraine, Poland, uh, Dominican Republic, Philippines, Thailand. 
China. There, there are lots of different people here. And it's pooling the resources together that can work quite well, not only for business, but also socially. Because a lot of people become isolated because they're from different countries, different cultures, etc. When there's an invisible barrier sometimes, it just doesn't exist. But you can cross that by having a night where we have a buffet, everybody brings something from what's native to them. And, you know, you just make it um, entertaining. But the whole point of this, though, is the network is important. Um, now, the reason I'm bringing up the network, though, is you'll have networks you can utilize for many things in your own life. Um, you may not even recognize the network exists, but if you're on a career path, it's one of the things that you can push yourself forward with. Um, because, I mean, I, I experience what I call uh, blockages in career movement, uh, which is where you'll get a manager that, um, for, their, for their own reasons, are not very good at what they do but they will block you progressing your career because they can't progress theirs because they're unfit to go to the next level. Um, the way to get around that is utilizing other people in other divisions that can actually find you a way around or through or transferring into another division that relieves you of where you currently are. That is working a network. Um, like I said, it wasn't, this wasn't about sales, but I, I just wanted to talk about it because you may have a network there that you're not using. I know some of you guys out there have got businesses there. Is there something you could actually be improving on your network that can actually help your business develop? Is there something you can help some of your contacts in your own network develop their business, which may have a positive impact on yourself? That's the way to network. It's not me, 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 but how you can network everything together to benefit everybody. Because if you're helping somebody up here, eventually what goes around comes around and they'll pick you up somewhere else. Um, you know, if you're, if you're a holiday company, for example, just, just for example, you know a boutique, um, a boutique that deals in, I don't know, whatever it's selling. And you know a supplier that normally does wholesale and stuff. Um, the boutique's looking for some some new stock, something a little bit different that it doesn't actually sell yet. And the wholesaler hasn't even thought about selling to some of the, uh, the boutiques for whatever reason. Um, but because, it, I mean, it, it could even be as simple as coat hangers. You know, something, you're, you're delivering coat hangers, some, you know, and you know somebody who manufactures the coat hangers. Um, Boutique ones, coat hangers. As simple as that. You don't make any money from getting the uh, manufacturer in touch with the boutique, but the boutique will be thankful that you've got them high quality coat hangers and the manufacturer appreciates that you help develop their business and likely to keep your contract on because you'll send work their way when it comes available. Um, and that's working the network. It's a little bit of a, you know, it's not a big sale for the coat hanger company, but if you get that into the boutique and then the boutique suddenly has a uh, tailor next door that says, oh, those, those coat hangers, but where did you get those from? It's working the network. And where did all that business come from? It came from you. And that's working the network. And the, the whole point is, to get on in life, this is a very useful thing that people often overlook, but you'll see successful people invest time in it because they know to get ahead, a lot of the time it's not about your ability, it's about using everything around you to help everybody. You know, everybody progresses. And okay, you get the odd person that just a, it won't do nothing for anybody, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. Because that's the only one person out on the, you know, somebody does generate hiring, right? Guy doesn't pay your invoices, you know, as a hauler and whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because when the next contract comes up with another um, 
company that hires them out, to, you know, and you're picking them up and dropping them off. And somebody says, hey, you know, uh, do you know anybody else who does the, the generators? You're not going to offer it to the guy who doesn't pay you the invoices. First person you're going to say is, oh, you know, this guy is really good. Um, always paid me on time. Well, you won't say he's paid you on time, but you'll say, never had any problems with the guy. Um, service seems great. Everybody else seems happy with him. Highly recommend them. And boom, the, the guy that's all negative and doesn't pay you, his business isn't doing as well because your little network bit is starting to improve because like I said, it's all about how people interlink. Um, like the coat hangers, if somebody starts taking the generators on a regular basis from the guy you recommend, it starts whittling away at the other business. And that starts from your networking, your contact, your business development, your help, and that's the power of the network.